Well, it looks like Diddy's back at it again. Because he keeps getting sued back to back, and it keeps getting worse, Cassie did us all a big favor when she stepped up. Because Diddy has now been sued nine or ten times by different people accusing him of the same thing. The latest lawsuit was filed by a woman who claimed that not only did Diddy saw her, but he also allegedly passed her out to his friends and forced her to do intimate things with them against her. Well, it looks like all of these lawsuits have eaten deep into his bank accounts too because, will you on the streets is that he is selling off some of his assets including his Le Mansion well hold onto your seats y'all because it's not looking good for Diddy and I'm definitely about to spill all his tea I swear every single time we get an update on. Diddy, it's never anything good, if it's not him being suited, some old dirt being dug up on him about some illegal things that he allegedly did. Or 50 Cent is dropping some snippets from his up and coming in, Diddy do it documentary on him, the last thing we heard about Diddy. The feds are making plans to bring in front of a grand jury to determine whether or not to bring charges against him. And if you're wondering why the feds would need a grand jury indictment, it's because most of the cases are well past the statute of limitations sum up. The cases go back as far as the early 90s, and under normal circumstances, the feds can't bring criminal charges against him from that long ago. But according to reports, the feds are arguing that these aren't normal circumstances, and they are in the process of setting up a grand jury and getting witnesses to testify against Diddy. And if he's indicted by the grand jury, he's going to trial, and considering the evidence against him, especially the video of him putting hands on Cassie, let's just say that it's not a good look for Diddy, according to CNN. Federal investigators are preparing to bring accusers of music mogul Shaw Diddy Holmes before a federal grand jury too. Sources familiar with the probe tell CNN signaling the U.S. Justice Department is moving toward potentially seeking an indictment of comms. They went on to say that possible witnesses have been notified if by investigators that they could be brought in to testify in front of a federal grand jury in New York City. According to one source, bringing individuals who have filed civil lawsuits against Combs before a grand jury would mark a significant escalation in the government's ongoing investigation involving the producer and Bad Boy Records founder. Now, some names that are being tossed around as potential witnesses include Diddy's Shy Young Miami, his alleged sorker Daphne Joy Cassie, his former bodyguard Jean Deal, and a whole lot of other people. But while the grand jury is still trying to do their work, another woman has come forward to accuse Diddy of not only saying her, but also passing her to his friends and forcing her to do things to him against her. Will her accusations line right up with the stuff that Little Rod accused Diddy of in his lawsuit? And it looks like Diddy has allegedly been doing this sort of thing for decades. The new accuser is a former adult star named Audrea English, and in her lawsuit she claimed that she was forced to engage in sexual act with some of his attendees at his renowned parties. According to the lawsuit that she's filed according to Audrea, she claimed that she met Diddy in 2004 when her boyfriend was auditioning for a Shaw John modeling gig you know. Diddy's clothing brand that used to be a big deal back in the day but got dropped by Macy's after his lawsuits. But anyways, Audrea claimed that things immediately got freaky with Diddy right out the gate. According to reports, Aria claims that her boyfriend and another model were asked to perform oral action on Diddy in order to get the job. She says her boyfriend refused. But he got a second chance when another Diddy associate offered him the job as long as he got Audrea to work as a go-go dancer at Diddy's up and coming in white party in the Hamptons. This definitely reminds me of Little Rod's claims in his lawsuit where he claimed that Diddy promised to help him win a Grammy Award for Producer of the Year if he agreed to do some intimate favors for Diddy. He also claimed that Diddy tried to pimp him out his other friends especially at his parties like Cuba Gooding Jr. So again it looks like Diddy allegedly works this kind of way with everybody, which is very messy. But anyways, TMZ reported that Audrea and the boyfriend agreed and that she indeed worked the party over Labor Day weekend 2004. The lawsuit includes pics of her there, and says she subsequently worked other Diddy parties where she regularly had to drink alcohol laced with narcotics like ecstasy, and was encouraged to flirt with the guests. Although she did not have intercourse with the guest at first, she claimed that Diddy groomed her into sex trafficking over time. Audrey claims that things got worse when Diddy forced her to have intercourse with Jacob Arabal, who was also known as Jacob the Jeweler in hip-hop. She went on to claim that she was forced to have intercourse with him, and that she was paid an extra $1,000 in addition to what she was usually paid for working at Diddy's parties. According to the reports, Audrea claimed that Diddy himself personally congratulated her for having said Jacob as directed and told her job well done. She claimed that it went even worse than that, because after that Diddy allegedly tried to pass her off to other men at his parties, and they allegedly asa her at the parties. She then claimed that Diddy tried to pimp her out. She claimed that Diddy allegedly promised to advance her career even, helping her join a girl group to enter the music business but backed it up with forceful demands and threats to blackball her and her boyfriend from the industry if it didn't comply. She then went on to claim that she managed to 
escaped from Diddy after a couple of years, but he allegedly went after her and her boyfriend and blackballed them from the industry, preventing them from getting jobs in the industry, just to prove how powerful he is. Well, Diddy's lawyers denny these claims of course saying, no matter how many lawsuits are filed it won't change the fact that Mr. Combs has never assayed or trafficked anyone. We live in a world where anyone can file a lawsuit for any reason, and without any proof. Fortunately a fair and impartial judicial process exists to find the truth, and Mr. Combs is confident he will prevail against these and other baseless claims in court. Unfortunately, people don't exactly believe this because Diddy has been sued by seven or eight other people accusing him of similar stuff. Plus. I know y'all remember how he and his lawyers swore that he never put hands on Cassie, and that she was lying about him hitting her, yet they tried to paint her out as the bitter money-hungry ex who was only after Diddy's money, and they claimed that she was trying to bring a black brother down. But then the video of him putting hands on her in the Intercontinental Hotel in Los Angeles leaked, and it was bad exclusively by CNN it appears to corroborate some of the allegations of against music mogul Shaw Diddy Combs. The video captured on multiple camera shows Combs a his then-girlfriend Cassie Ventura in a hallway at a Los Angeles hotel in March 2016 a lawsuit filed by Ventura in November last year and settled the next day, referenced actions that seen. To match those seen in this video at this point, Diddy couldn't continue to deny it. And he eventually came forward to admit that the things Cassie said in her lawsuit were true. But he claimed that he was a different person back then, talking about how he hates the person he was back then and all this stuff that people say when they get caught doing horrible things. Behavior on that video is inexcusable. I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. I'm disgusted. I was disgusted then when I did it, I'm disgusted now. I went and I sought out professional help. I had to go into therapy, I'm going to rehab. I'd ask God for his mercy and grace. Considering how heavily did he is paying them now, I don't know exactly how much he is paying them. But it's being reported to be a whole lot of money. And between the millions he has already paid out in the last couple of months, it's not surprising that he is now being reported as going broke. In fact, new reports have it that he is so broke that he is selling his La Mansion, yeah the same mansion that was raided by the Homeland Security that he bought the house for $40 million a couple of years ago and he is now trying to sell it for $70 million. But according to reports Diddy is desperate and will take any amount because keeping all those lawyers on a retainer is costing him millions and he needs to keep the cash rolling or all those fancy lawyers are going to dump him and he would be in even more trouble. But you know the fans have a lot to say about it. And they've been leaving comments saying did he collect a lawsuits like Infinity Stones? They just keep coming, Diddy allegedly did all that and more. And I believe now more than ever he was involved in TX2, he's wicked in every which way did he allegedly blew up kid size car was having us in orgies with older women as a minor was P. Cassie broke Kim Porter's nose on a yacht stole from his artist didn't tell little Kim, and Jay wanted to collaborate that man's evil has finally caught up with him and Diddy is so powerful and so effing evil you'd have to be a whole idiot to not believe just about anything that anyone says about him first person to start talk it's about how the woman want money needs to get stumped on y'all that situation is a mess every day with diddy i got to know what you feel about this and drop your thoughts and comments below and then check out this next video